Hey gang, it's Lita Lums Apotheca Health and Beauty Hacks and today we're going to make a hydrating mist, an oil-free way to hydrate your skin when you're feeling hot. It's summer, there's like a heat wave crossing the world. It was really hot yes, two days ago in LA. So like moisturizers can sometimes feel like too much on your skin. So this is great, it's formulated with rose water along with xylitol, they work together for atopic dermatitis, that sort of eczema, dry patchy skin, you know, that often occurs on your face, very unpleasant, or elbows, you know, crooks here and there. Some of the ingredients we're gonna put into our mist are gonna help with that atopic dermatitis. So if you have that, please watch. Let's make a hydrating mist. Mm. <laughs> So gang, it's so so crazy, crazy hot. It's just like, just trying to stay cool. Oh my gosh, my poor cat was really not having it. I would not want to be having fur. I mean, even just, okay, I'm gonna put my hair up. <sighs> ah, much better. I'm naked. All right, let's get to it. So rose water has an interesting ingredient. This isn't all rose water because it's too much for me, so I put a little bit of rose water, but rose water has an interesting ingredient that coupled with xylitol help against atopic dermatitis, darlings. Farnesol, Farnesol, which is in rose water. So if you make one of these coupled with as much as 5% xylitol, which is the study, which I will link to down below in the description. For any of these ingredients, you can look down the description, you guys. There's studies that say that it will decrease the biofilm. So with the, a lot of those dry patchy skins and stuff, and that's why xylitol is so great for your teeth is because it combats biofilms, like plaque and tartar, that's a biofilm. A bunch of bacteria get together and they create like a colony that's resistant. You know, it's, that's what the biofilm is. It's resistant to invaders. Sodium PCA, we're going to include sodium PCA. I really like this humectant. If you have oily skin or it's just really hot and you want a hydrating mist DIY, you guys, this has some great ingredients. Most of this is water, but some of it is also rose water we're gonna put in it. You can make it all rose water, any hydrosol you wish. We're gonna put a little bit of glycerin because glycerin is an amazing humectant, drawing moisture to the skin. And, but it can be a little sticky, so you can also admit that. And just add more of sodium PCA. Sodium PCA, I love this humectant. It's a little more expensive than the other humectants, but it really draws moisture and binds it to your skin cells. Sodium PCA. It's the salt of pyroglutamic acid, and it's awesome because it draws moisture to your skin. It can also help from inflammation by protecting your skin from invaders. It's a great humectant and it doesn't feel sticky like glycerin. So you can just up the sodium PCA and, and omit the glycerin if you're not into it. Xylitol, we're also gonna put xylitol in this, which is also a humectant, awesome. But not only that, it can also help with your skin's building collagen. Xylitol is an antibacterial that it prevents bacteria from attaching to cells, makes it slippery. So that's why it's great for your teeth, xylitol switch it around, but also certain bacteria, they love the taste of xylitol, but they can't digest it. So it actually, it kills them. Xylitol, this is the xylitol I got. Uh, morning pep, as a sweetener, it's great for you know diabetes and all that stuff. Morning pep, this one's from Birch. So we don't have any corn GMO. You can use any xylitol. Xylitol is so cool. It works synergistically with a compound that's found in rose water, Farnesol, and they work together. There's been studies, which I'm going to link to below, of 0.02 Farnesol. So, you know, maybe you could use more rose water if you have atopic dermatitis or eczema, or you could try it for psoriasis. I think psoriasis is a little bit more autoimmune. But if you have some itchy, dry skin, you might as well try it. Then you can go as high as 5% with xylitol. With the study, they used 5% xylitol. So in that case, you might wanna take the glycerin out and maybe lessen the percentage of the sodium PCA. I have sodium PCA at 2% in this formula because I really like it. I like it, it feels hydrating. Like it's just pulling moisture from the air, drawing it into your skin, you guys. Oh. And we're going to preserve it with lucidol liquid Max, Lucidol SF Max. I got mine from Formula Sample Shop. They've got a smaller amounts from the parent company and Active Microbials. Active Micro or Active Microbials? I can't remember, but this company now, they have even a more potent preservative system that you could apparently use in emulsions. We have to use it up to 4%. 
We're gonna go 2% because there is water in this. We don't put any oil in it, so it's not gonna be like a Petri dish for bacteria. Oil free, on to it, darling. So we're going for oil free. So it's really cool. This also has skin benefits. You can get some at Formula Sample Shop, links below for all of these ingredients, you guys, and for the percentages and the formula that I used, okay, guys? I got a template just from Skin Actives. It's really just a, a Excel file that you can put in the ingredients. It's a nice template. You guys should go there and, and download it. It's just to the right side of the website. There's, you just scroll down along the, the side panel. It's gonna be 50 milliliters. You just put in the percentages that you want and then they'll bring it into milliliters and grams. Here's my formula. And we're going to place it in this fancy little bottle. It's gonna be awesome. We'll just mix everything in here, guys. It'll be great. Start off with 70% water, which will be 35 of our distilled water. You could use the full amount of rose water, but I don't want it to be that stinky. 25% rose water, which is 12.5 milliliters. Fancy rose water going up to 13, basically. Let's measure out the xylitol. 0.5%, 0.25. And we want 0.50% xylitol, which is 0.25 grams. Fabulous, put that in. And again, you could go as high as 5% xylitol with the, for the skin issues. And dissolve, dissolves real nice. 0.5 glycerin. And now if you're going higher xylitol, omit the glycerin. Mm. Wash it out completely out of my little pipette. Fully dissolved sodium PCA 2%, so it's a whole it's one milliliter sodium PCA from Lotion Crafters. Easy pipette. And let's preserve it with this fancy Lucidol SF Max from Formula Sample Shop. Whole one milliliter, again, 2%. That's it. Basically a clear liquid. The Lucidol FX makes it a little dark. No big deal. Smells good. And just pour it in. And you have your amazing hydrating spray. Yes. Awesome. Yeah, guys. Mm. And it really does feel hydrating. It's just a little bit of rose water since I only put 25% rose water with our liquid. 70% just distilled water. But you really feel it. It's First of all, it's so refreshing just to spray yourself when it's freaking hot, you know what I mean? But then you really feel, it's a, li a little heavier than water, but you really don't, it's not too sticky. If you want it more sticky and hydrating, uh, then you keep the glycerin, which I wanted. But if you want it a little less sticky, just omit the glycerin and just do the sodium PCA and the xylitol. All three of those are humectants, right? They're drawing moisture to the skin. If you have atopic dermatitis, then just do the xylitol. You might not want to do, also do the sodium PCA because it might feel too sticky. Although sodium PCA is not a sticky humectant, still it might be a little much. Yeah, guys. Mmm. I love it. I'm using rosanol because the Farnesol in it. I think that's cool that it has Farnesol and Farnesol works well with xylitol. <laughs> and rose just feels very decadent rose water. I, I think it's nice. You don't even have to use a hydrosol. You could use a little bit of an essential oil. So many options, you guys. You guys, a pet xylitol would work well as a deodorant. Mmm. Maybe a little hydrosol and a lot of xylitol and water. Good deodorant. I hope you enjoyed that video. Great suggestion thank you very much and this is really nice i like this i'm just in love with sodium pca and xylitol shucks and lucidol <laughs> glycerin's awesome too it's just not as exciting so if you like that video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you hit the bell button next to the subscription button you will be notified when i put up videos on thursdays and when i do lives at tuesdays 4 p.m pacific standard times on my zen deck we just discuss questions and just discuss things it's great and if you have any suggestions for things you want to you want to see or you're wondering about please in the comments 
do tell. That's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Bye bye. Do I look naked? Pyroglutamic acid. Bulk app. Put in our humectant day serum. And that's it. So some of the ingredients we're going to put into our hydrating day serum. <gasps> Di <laughs> Lucidol FS Max. You A atopic dermatitis. Today we're going to discuss, we're going to make mm. and pulling it into your cells. Wow, that's 